Hello and welcome to my chapter 8 maddening guide. So the first thing we will go over for this guide is positioning and units. Uh, for units, you want at least two archers. Uh, so in this case I have Anna who I made into a warrior. Investing in Anna actually makes a lot of sense because of this. Make a killing. The higher her luck, the more often her getting kills turns into you getting money. And you, all you need is like 10 luck for this to start actually triggering. Like 1 in 10 chance is pretty decent, and you can get her luck up to like 30 to 40 as you approach mid and end game. So, pretty useful. She's actually a pretty good unit with decent growths. She has okay build. Uh, but I have her as an archer, and I also have Alcrist. Alcrist. All crust. <laughs> um, I don't need Fram, honestly. Fram is probably bad here. Like, objectively speaking, she doesn't really add anything. I have this unit to heal, but uh, you can run her. Um, you want archers, basically. There's a lot of flyers to shoot down, so archers are extremely helpful. Uh, I'm just kind of running some of these units. Like, I don't really want to run Alfred, but I'm just running him to, to learn more about him. But honestly, I would drop Alfred or Fram here. You want archers, so archers are really strong in this map, but we'll just use two and we should be fine. And if you have an archer that's upgraded, so they have five move, you can get an extra hit in. So your archer can go to the ballista and hit a dude, which is kind of cool. You know, it's kind of neat to do. The thing that's kind of crazy about the ballista though, honestly, I think the ballista is kind of like a trap. It gets overwhelmed. Like even with good play, it gets it will get overwhelmed. And luckily Anna is a tank, so she can get hit by some of these enemies and she'll be fine. But if you put like, Allcrust or especially Eddie on there, Ate, however you say her name, she she gets one shot. So it's kind of like a trap, honestly, and it doesn't really help you that much. So we'll we'll just not even use it. Let's let's just skip the ballista. Let's just play simple. We're not going to take risks. We'll just be, you know, holding. We'll just hold angles and kill things. That's all we're going to do. And then pop, engage when it matters. All right, so the first thing you'll want to do is move your dudes up as far <laughs> his voice annoys me so much. <laughs> he sounds like he sounds like a guy like goofing off. I'm awaiting orders. Like, you know, when people make like stuff like red versus blue back in the day, you know, things like little skits or something. It just he just sounds like he's memeing on this me. Isn't so bad. And I'm not a fan of it. All right, so we're going to push everyone out. We want things to get attacked. So I actually want both of these to attack her because she'll counterattack them. She can tank them. Assuming your Chloe is level like nine to 10, maybe higher. Uh, also, if she has a Steel Lance plus three, that helps. Uh, she's like a killing machine. If you put a Steel Lance plus three on her with this engraving, she'll just run, like, this is an end game weapon. Once it gets to plus five, it has like minus two weight. And then her build probably increases by like one or two levels over 20 levels. She'll just be driving her horse around killing things, so she just becomes like a noob yes. on wheels. Pretty good investment. Uh, some of these units I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, Diamant. Diamant isn't bad, it's just that he doesn't really do anything that you don't do. He's like a, he's almost like a mirror of you. He's kind of like average stats, middle speed. He, he basically is you. And I feel like the Allure unit is okay, but I don't want two of them. But you get two of them on this map. He's like a forest to boy. Now you can change him into something else. But I don't feel like he's like super useful. Alright, so we'll move her over there. Uh, these probably will be able to kill everything. I'm not really anticipating too many problems here. So we're just going to push up. We fight for peace. The first turn Ballista, you can't really hit anything good. You can hit like these guys, which doesn't really help you much. So honestly, it's not that useful. And the thing about the Ballista is you need an Archer to shoot it, as far as I know. I don't think you can use a Mage to shoot it. I'll test that right now, but I'm fairly certain you need an Archer to shoot it. And your Archer can also just be an Archer and shoot people, and not just be in the center of some weird position. So <laughs> it's just kind of awkward in some cases. Now, it can be good. Like, don't get me wrong. It can definitely be good. So, we'll see. We'll see what we're doing here. 
But I like to do this because then on enemy phase you get to hit them in a safe position, heal up, and you're fine. So she can attack Kanto, I'm sorry, Canter, then catch a heal. Uh, and then these guys, this one's weak but doubles, and then this one hits kind of hard. So we have 10 defense, so this will deal 12 damage to me unless I'm fast enough, which I will be if I equip the right weapon. But I don't kill that. You have to be mindful of this too. This will randomly kill um, this guy. This man right here. Alright, so here's what we'll do. We'll do the one-two punch. Was that sufficient? So throw a javelin at a guy. Is it go time? And I can't really kill these. But I can do this. Yeah, let's go here. So stab this. So she has Sigurd equipped. I think Chloe is one of the best starting units. She's a flyer. And it takes you a few chapters like into the middle game before you can make other people flyers. So like just that alone is huge upside, but she's very fast. She has mobility, she has speed, and if you just give her a good steel weapon, she gets like good damage, she can still double. Like her speed is so good, she can still double, even though, you know, it's not the best. It's still better than the enemies at this point. So Anna can tank this, we could shoot this one. Anna, in particular, is tanky enough. Like, look at how much damage she's doing here. Um, she actually hits really hard at, like, level 10, especially if you put her on Warrior. And she has a decent health pool and decent speed and defense. So she can surprisingly tank a few hits if these enemies break through, which they will. But just taking care of that enemy definitely helps. Because I need to kill this, make a path, and then kill that guy. So we'll have to do... Something like this, maybe. I feel like she hits for low damage against these for some reason. Doesn't seem to do a ton of damage. But you want to kind of turtle on this side until you get rid of some of the enemies, like these flyers. So they'll, they'll attack some of your units, they'll get in. Now this guy, he can't get in. He can hit things that are like here. But he can't hit these tiles, so these tiles are safe. Tell me where. All right. Yeah, I feel like Alfred's not really that strong. We'll probably have to do like a steel bow here. Move Amber out of the way, heal. Trigger Gentle Flower, that's fine. I do have to be mindful of his speed. His speed is actually very bad. Yeah, I'm not so sure about Alfred, but his speed is good. So he can move in and kill this. And then he needs to turtle. So this can wrap around him. Oh no, here we go. She's better. She's actually really fast. And she can equip... She can even equip this and she's still very fast. She actually might be a really strong unit. Overall. He's pretty susceptible to dying. He's kind of a liability. A lot of these starting units are kind of like liabilities. And certain ones you invest in are quite good. Alright, here we go. Get some damage on these. The key is just to hold the fronts and then hit them on enemy phase for damage and just kind of turtle and then kill them when it's your turn. And eventually you have to recover because, you know, they're going to try to overwhelm your defenses. That's the whole point of the map. So at this point, I think it's time for Anna to dip out. <laughs> it's like everything's around her. Uh, Chloe is going to kill that. Say the word. She's very tanky, and she can canter too. So a lot of things are going to attack her, but this one's going to be dead. Yeah, this one just gets one-shotted. 
She's actually quite insane. She's actually a very good unit. Alright, and then we can probably kill him with magic. So it even so you can actually see without moving this unit the forecast, which is kind of cool. You check that out. Hitting this will be tricky. Like she can't go here. This doesn't have canter, so we'll see how we'll do this. It's not it's not like too difficult of a position. Oh, there's always Anna. She's a longbow. All right, that's that solves it. So Anna just longbows. Yeah. You get the longbow in chapter 6, I believe. So it should be on one of your rangers. Alright, now... I'm actually going to move him forward to help deal with this. Because we just have to clear out these enemies because they're just pushing our position. So holding these fronts and this high ground. Now, the high ground doesn't do anything in this game in terms of like actual mechanics where it increases damage or something. But it's useful to have like a, a good position like this because then the enemies are forced to funnel into you and you can kind of dictate so i got a one percent crit there uh if you don't get a one percent crit there killing that shouldn't be too much trouble you just attack him again next turn he can't even move up really well and then for this side over here so you have this guy who has 12 speed and a javelin so i would do something like this you just stab this guy with a javelin. And he laughs at that. <laughs> All right, and then attack this and break it. So hit him with a steel sword if you have it. Steel sword plus with the upgrade. The thing about steel swords and steel lances is that as you upgrade them, they lose weight. And as your character gets build, it then eventually becomes weightless and it just becomes one of the most low weight, high damage weapons you can run. That's just like huge upside. All right, so he can tank a single unit. He'll take some damage from the guy flying in, but he can tank getting hit by a single thing. All right, and then she can heal Chloe. All right, he needs to come back and heal, so I'm just gonna have him use a Vulnary. And he's gonna trigger Gentle Flower. And then she can last hit. Yeah. Alright, and then Amber. Alright, let's see what this wants to go for. So 14 speed, 18 attack. I'm actually not worried if this attacks her. But I don't want it to attack him because he won't counterattack. So I'm going to park let's Amber go. here. So he's forced to hit Amber, who will hit him back. Unless he has a javelin, of course. You can see here Chloe is doubling that enemy on counterattack, which is massive. So one thing I could do here... I'm fairly certain Anna can tank a lot of these, so speed 10, that's with a longbow though. We're going to be using steel. So speed 12. Speed 16. Alright, so both of those double her. They deal 16. She has 7 defense. So she would actually take a lot of damage. So she can't tank that. Unless I pick one of them. Which might be difficult to do. So we'll probably hold off on that. Alright, this guy can be shot down and we can rotate. I can do something like this. I want to move him over here and shoot so that he can push towards the center because we're going to need the help. So I'll toggle these. Okay, and then he can go... Let's see, how do I want to kill this guy? I definitely do. Alright, so he's quite fast, so we'll start here. Yeah, start here. Okay, so he can actually use steel without it affecting his speed. So he'll get a break. Alright, and then Anna should be able to last hit. She actually hits pretty hard. Alright, 
Alright, and then we can go... Oh, wait, she has to move still. Okay, what do I want to do with you? If I go here, I have to body block. Probably with a unit like Chloe. Killing this. So I could do something like hit... Hit this. I might be able to kill this outright. I'm trying to save my ability for Ivy. That's ideal, I think. Alright, you need to just like go over here and chill. You can just wait. He can get healed. So we'll throw the javelin at that flyer. Hit level 10 <laughs> for not killing something. I love that. Alright, and then... She's gonna heal. And Celine comes over. Kills this. You were beautiful while you lasted. So she can canter, so she can move out, stab this. It's good to keep all of your units pretty close in this position so that they can move between fronts to help. Because ultimately, most of them are going to be in the center. Alright, and then he can push this way. So this is the idea. He pushes this way so that he can push towards the center while killing something. Mm. It dodged, so I'm going to pulse there. It dodged an 87. So let's see if it can dodge a 100. Ooh. Alright. As long as this 97 hits, I'm fine with it. Alright, and then someone else assess the last hit. Probably Amber. Or maybe Lapis should. So she can get XP. Amber can just chill out here. Made quick work of that. Alright, so we haven't used any alts yet. I call them alts. <laughs> it's, it's it's a thing. They're alts, basically. All right, these guys are coming in. All right, Time Ant is pretty tanky. That's one thing going for him. <laughs> the music just like abruptly stops. All right, so this guy is melee. Let's see how many things hit you. Quite a few. I'm just checking to see what she can do. Six damage, okay. Alright, so I can longbow. It's not very accurate against him. Killing these is easy. The easiest way to kill these is just use engage abilities. So, for example, if I want to use Sigurd here. This is pretty good. Sigurd isn't really good against Ivy, so I think it's fine to do that here. It puts both of these dudes at one shot. And that's huge upside. So you can easily kill Zelkov. Okay, then this needs cleared. I'm gonna send in a weaker unit. So just move this out of the way. By killing it. <laughs> just kill it. I win this one. He wins this one. It's a famous saying of his. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently it's a famous saying of his. Alright, and then we're gonna last hit him with a javelin. <laughs> or maybe not. Eh, we'll go for it. It's 60%. Alright, we messed up, unsurprisingly. So I'm gonna pulse that. I mean you have ten pulses, you might as well take some risks, you know. Pulse my way. Alright, let's see. He probably is going to miss his next attack. Because that's how the game is with a lot of things. Alright, so Lady Anna. Let's see. Longbow. Alright. We're going to shoot the one guy. With a steel bow. Yeah, because it's plus, it's plus hit. My name is Kagetsu. 
Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. It's, she's in a ballista. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Fires a ballista at him. <laughs> Pleased to meet you as well, good sir. Now die from ballista. Okay, so let's see. He has crit rate. Uh, he has 20% crit rate, which is pretty scary. However, we have chip damage. <laughs> we have chip damage. <laughs> He has crit rates, we have chip damage. I need to get this out of the way. Alright, maybe you're up now, man. Yeah, hit this with a hit this with the javelin. Get this out of the way. Damn it. He missed twice. I'm gonna try to manipulate the RNG here. Um because I want him to get in to shoot this. So we get this out of the way, he moves in, he shoots this, and then he last hits. That's the play, I think. Uh, we can just try to kill another guy. Yeah, I can like kill Zelkov, for example. Yeah. Alright, peace, buddy. Oblivion is near. I like how he gets back up. He like he like dies and then does like a flip. This is fine. Alright, maybe you can hit it this time. <laughs> Third time's the charm. I'm here. It is! Third time's the charm. It worked. Good. Yeah, you can manipulate some turns to get some hit rates up if you have to. It's whatever. It's the game. <laughs> you have to do it. Alright, so we'll do Steel Bow. Uh, we'll go for the lower dam or the higher damage, lower hit rate. Alright, he's he should be one-shottable now. You don't want him to counterattack you with two 20% crits. One of those would pop off easily. Alright, peace, bro. Alright, then we can last hit this guy, just get rid of him. PK fire! PK fire! I have a soundboard, it's fun. It's something to do. You have a little bit of a soundboard. Uh, let's see. 16 speed. Doubles. 16 damage. 10 defense, you're fine. Okay. I was just making sure no one dies. I could body block with Amber if I had to. Uh, I'm gonna do that anyways. Uh, and then she'll just come down here. Alright, so now we're in the center. Most of the enemies are cleared. I think Ivy pushes soon. We can hit her on her way in too. And Anna's on a siege. Alright, so she's about to push in. So we'll fire. We'll PK fire at one of these guys. Just to thin the herd a little bit. So he's gonna kill this to create space for Lapis. I'm still alive? Am I the only one that finds it weird that he acts like a Japanese schoolgirl? <laughs> like, exactly like one. <laughs> but then he's just like kind of, his voice is like kind of normal. It's just, it's just weird. It's just strange. Alright, you, Levin Sword, hold on, let me check speeds. 13 speed. Oh, you don't get doubled. He actually might be a good unit. Clean this up. Are you watching, Father? He might have been watching. Alright, you need to get Still healed. Good. Still good. His voice is just strange. He's like deranged Ferdinand. He's like super goofy. Let's see if I can kill this. Oh, I barely can't. We'll hit it with this, though. She has Canter, so she can get in and get out. Put a lot of damage on him. Alright, let's check for mages. I know some... Yeah, these mages are coming up. 
Ivy pushes soon. Uh, I can retreat her. Move him up. Uh, that should be fine. This position should be fine. Yeah, the mages push in. Then Ivy pushes in. And then those try to fly past you to beat you. And you can kind of dive Ivy to some degree. I could probably do something like... Okay, she doesn't hit very hard with that. <laughs> with Warp Ragnarok, unsurprisingly. Uh, she has Killer Axe, which is a little scary. This guy drops a secret book. I can one-shot him, which is kind of cool, actually. <laughs> it's kind of sick, to be honest. Now, one thing I could do, I can move back. One thing I can't do, I can't kill this and move back, but I can kill... Let's see. What do you do to me? What's your crit rate? So, 50-50 chance of hitting, 27 crit, which is pretty high. Do I care about a secret book this much? Dex plus 2. I don't, but I want to try it. <laughs> I want to see if I can get it. Alright, what do you have? Fire. We'll just see if we tank Ivy as a, as a joke. It's just a meme. If this love is a crime. You can just retreat and then dump all of your engages on her and she's dead. However, however, it'd be really funny and cool if I got an extra item. All right, these guys have to get out. Me first. <laughs> He's like a Japanese girl. All right, you get out. You're pretty fast. All right, only one can hit him. He can just chill. Uh, I'm gonna trust that Chloe survives. Oh yeah, this guy. Alright, here's why Anna is good. She's an archer. Thanks for the business. <laughs> Thanks for the business. Alright, I'm gonna even out the odds a bit. Heal everyone who needs healed. Hell yeah, dude. We got magic. It's a lot of pop-ups. Alright. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a lot of pop-ups. I don't know what to say. Alright, we're gonna heal you. So we're just holding a back position. Nothing too crazy. Um, I don't know that I want Ivy to hit... Louise? I think he can tank it, though. I don't think she's magic. Oh, no, she does have magic. All right, so definitely don't hit Louise. Definitely do not do that. Let's see. Avoid 28. Avoid 54. All right, so I'm going to move out of the way because she's going to kill me, probably. And I'm, I, have, I have faith in Chloe. Let's see. Let's see if my faith is correct. With this emblem Let's see if she crits. She missed. Yes, she missed. She didn't even hit. See, that's what we're talking about. Didn't even hit us. We got free damage on her. And I think I can get out a little bit. No, I can't. <laughs> I get to counterattack her again. All right, now I just have to not get hit a second time. <laughs> not get crit 2.0. <laughs> Version 2. Uh, all right, so we can kill some of these. Steel bow. Now the safest thing to do, I'm going for an item here, the safest thing to do, just pull back in, let her come to you, and just dump all your engages on her. Uh, I'm going to use some engages here. Blazing Lion. Just to set up some kills. Because if, like, assuming Chloe doesn't get killed, she's going to put a lot of damage on, on uh, Ivy counterattacking her, so I'm not too worried. Um, what can you do, Amber? You know, range. All right, he doesn't have range. Who's the bigger threat? I would say the mage is. And the mage gives me XP, so the mage is dying. Their guy doesn't even give me XP. That's a ripoff, you know. 
I'm here for XP, you know? I'm here to kill enemies and level up. I'm not here to not level up. All right, you got all these guys over here. Um, I don't know that I want to push into those. That's too far. So this is a perfect, this is like a trap. Like if I push into this, I kill one, uh, two mages, hits Anna, she's probably dead. So I'm just gonna pull back and then prepare to die of Ivy. If I can, I shall. Use a heal, just hold the center. Most of the time you're just holding the center, rotating units as needed and attacking and counterattacking. Okay, so we'll pass. Now we have to either dodge or not get crit. So she has to hit a 50-50 coin flip, and then she has to hit a 20. All right, now tire. Ooh, single-minded. I forgot about that. All right, she got a crit on me. All right. However... Now she can't hit me. <laughs> so if she crits you, just make it so she can't hit you. And you'll be fine. She'll hit her with magic, but her magic doesn't have crit, and Chloe is a magic tank, so... No worries. Alright, then we'll do the same thing as before. Steel bow. You don't have to go for that dex plus two item, I'm just doing it just to flex. To flex on myself, really, not to flex on you. I would never flex on you. That would be rude. And illegal. So we don't want to do that. Alright, we'll stab this dude. You don't really want to push out in this map. It's kind of just, like, terrible. I tried it before, and it's really bad. You just want to hold up here, get two archers, and you'll be fine. All right, now we survive. I forgot about single-minded. Okay, she attacks. It's fine. It's magic, no crit. But now she has magic equipped. That is hugely useful because her magic sucks. Her magic is really bad. Like, it doesn't deal that much damage. 22 magic, I can tank that all day. What's your speed? 15 speed. So now I can like shoot into this safely, and I can deal a lot of damage to her. So baiting out the magic actually is really nice. It just makes it easier to fight her. Like everyone can just dive. Oh yeah, she does have adaptable though. So never mind about everything I just said. However, if you attack her at range, she'll, she'll, she'll switch to fire. And her fire isn't really a threat at all. All right, so steel bow. This is her last health bar. He's a little too far away. Let's be careful. She can get in there. He can get in there. Okay, so she doesn't switch to magic. He actually tanks a crit from her, interesting, interestingly enough. Unless she crits twice. Maybe. 16, yeah, it'd be 32. 16 times 2. Okay. He can trade for a javelin if I need it, but I think Chloe's got this. Yeah. That's not a guaranteed kill, but it's pretty surefire, so I'm going to start killing as many things. This does not give XP. You can see over here, these have Void Curse. This one doesn't, though. Oh, I can't get to it. <laughs> I can't get to it on him. Void 
We'll just hit them for XP. She can't get in there either. She can heal though. You might as well get as much XP as you can. I'll have him kill this even though it shouldn't give him anything. The true battle is yet to come. Yeah. Void Curse doesn't give you anything if you kill it. What a lovely scene. Alright. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So both of those have to hit. Nice. Alright, she's dead. Alright, that's it for this one. The main takeaways are you want to hold the upper position, you want two archers, you don't want to overextend, you want to take note of where the enemy mages are. Uh, Luis doesn't really need to be there to hold the front, but you can position him in the beginning with Chloe to pull aggro and kill some stuff. Uh, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you found this useful. Uh, I also got the extra item, so I went the extra mile a little bit. Uh, feel free to drop a comment. Dexterity is cool. Peace.